everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Zeke Garcia. Hello! Sam Healy, welcome back, folks. We got Mo 10 games for ya. And stuff. Yes, I don't know what he said. The forest camp? He said something in the middle there that I didn't catch. I don't catch a lot. Okay, so we're glad you're here today, folks. We are um, today talking about our top 10 games with five players. We were supposed to post this yesterday, but my voice kind of went out. It's still not back in full strength. So you'll get there. These guys are worrying me with their encouragement. <laughs> Why? He's thinking we're going to make fun of him because his voice. No, I'm not used to encouragement is what it is. You should get used to it when you're not fully there. You know what I mean? That's what I do. So my you're job encourage me has my always been. Of games? My, my job has always been if you're, if you're, if you're feeling too good, I got to bring you down a little bit. But if you need the little boost, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to help you. No. I like to keep it. It's just that your keel. boosts always sound fake. Yep. I can't help that. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to sound fake when I actually I'm concerned about my friends and neighbors. Never the like neighbors. right now. Friends. Who are your neighbors? You don't even know. I don't know. All right. Today we're talking about our top ten games for five players. So this doesn't mean that the game, like I, I it doesn't mean the game plays best with five. For me, I pick games that, if I have five people, these are games I think about. Yes, correct. I'll tell you, if I have five people. My list shrinks considerably. It does a major jump from four to five, that's for sure. Yeah, wow. that's true. It's even greater even if you go from five to six. Oh. If we go to six, I'm like, hey, let's play two three-player games. <laughs> that is Ew. usually what... You don't like that? Nah. Oh, yeah. Three-player games? No. There's, especially if they're competitive. You don't like three-player games? I love games at three. No. I no, would rather play two three-player games than one six-player games. One guy oh, always gets sure. picked on. Or six one-player games. <laughs> six one. Again, Get I don't know my neighbors. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Come All right. On. Don't come knock, knock, knocking on my door. Well, knock, knock, any other pre-comments here? What yes, I is. organized my games from the lightest to the heaviest because I had no other solid way to do this, honestly. Um, that sounded like a good good thing, so I did it too. You copied me? I did. I mentioned it to Sam that that's what I was doing. Oh, and then he, that is also... Not what you did. Mine are almost that way just by virtue of my liking of them, but no. There's, okay. a, there's one that's out of order in that regard. Okay. Alrighty, well, I'm very. Here's the thing. I, I really feel like I've missed something, on this list more than any other list. I'll let you know. Like, <laughs> someone will say, "What about this game?" And I'll go, "Oh yeah, that's good with five. Yeah, that would have been your number eleven. You know how the game. But there goes. is a <laughs> play the game. But uh, there is a lot of games people are like this one with five, and I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, that's true. Especially Euro games. If it says something to five, I'm like, all right. I'm sorry, this one's maxed out at four. Especially for the first game. Oh, yes. no kidding. Yeah, big time. And then, I, th I guess we, we should probably mention these are not necessarily our favorite games that can be played at five players. These are games that are... And they're not even necessarily games that I would say the best player count is five. Right. No, if I have five players, these are games I would suggest, depending on the circumstance and situation I'm in. Obviously. Right, right, right. But they're not your favorite games that can handle five players. Yeah, they are. That is ex the exact opposite of what you told us about. No, 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 list. no. I'm saying I didn't pick the game that I said. I'm not saying, let's say that Monopoly is on my list. I'm not saying Monopoly is best with five players. I'm saying I like to play. If I have five players, I'm picking Monopoly. Well, I'm not going to play five player Monopoly with you. <laughs> let's get started. Fun. Go to number 10. Number 10. All right, my number 10 is um, actually a game that can play up to seven, but I prefer... Wrong it. list, man. <laughs> no, but I really like it with five, because with seven... This is about games that stop at five, I thought. Know what he said? No. Okay, go ahead, then. I'm confused. Is the game here just... Con <laughs> well, Shut up, I'm kidding. Go. <laughs> anyway, most people would say this is good with seven, but with seven, I always feel like there's one person that's all the way on the other side of the table, and I don't know what they're doing. With five, I feel a little bit more... Together. Seven Wonders. Okay. Okay. With Seven Wonders, you're dealing with the two people next to you, and they're dealing with those two people. Right. Once right, you right. add two more people in the mix, they're like in a different country. I could see that. Yeah, it won't affect you very much. Yeah. But with five, 
I may not be talking to, you know, with in this situation, I'm, I'm not necessarily dealing with Sam exactly, but you are. So I'm watching Sam too a little bit. I get that. Now, so when with you're five, drafting, you get to see, do you get to see your hand again at five? No, right? Do you? Yeah, you get to see your final card, right? You get, you get six, your final card back. I seven, bum, 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 comes back. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And that's it. The drafting is a little better, too. But five, I really like seven wonders. If I have five people, I'm like, oh, that's a great game to play. It's drafting. It doesn't slow down with five. That's good stuff. I can see people saying this for six or seven players, too. But for me, I like five. It so. is good at five. All right. <laughs> my number 10 is the lightest game, again, on my list. It's a game called Wink. Uh, Wink is... That one. <clears throat> Wink is a, a an extremely simple game that when I first heard about it, I thought, wow, this seems like a lame game. I'm, I'm not going to like this, you know? <laughs> Bless you. <clears throat> going to keep doing this? No. Are you sick? I'm fine. Aww. We should add, like, a big bottle of uh, pure oh, out in the middle. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. I mean, we should get on that. Anyway, Wink, uh, you have some cards revealed on the table. And you have some in your hand that match those. All you need to do is if someone selects a card that you are holding, you must wink at them before it's their turn again without getting caught by anyone else. That's it. That's the game. It sounds really dumb. It I've does. Had, I've had a lot of fun with this game. And there's just a lot of this sort of like watching everybody, you know, that thing. It works well at five. You, again, don't suffer from that. So-and-so, I'm not even watching you, you know. Fewer than that, it's too easy to ca catch people. If you play with four, five is just excellent. And this game, again, it really, really light. Floats away light. But it goes over well, a lot. And I've had tons of fun with it. So my number 10 is Wink. My number 10 is also, like I said, I, I, I also copied. Uh, no, it's if also Sam my says Wink, game. I would no, lose no, no, my no, no, mind. No, 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 no way. No, no, but it is I'll just wink at him light. He says it, this though. is called Timeline. Uh, Timeline is a Ooh. really fun game. It really does well at almost any player count, really, uh, that it supports. But uh, with five, I enjoy it as well. It, it's There's enough there to... The thing with Timeline is that when you are playing it, sometimes you have these huge uh, swaths of time between it. You're, you're trying to play mm -hmm. cards in such a way that they fit within a timeline of the, of the cards on the table, right? Mm -hmm. So... With too few players, it could be a little bit dicey to get it right. But with more things out there, it gives you a better idea where your cards are going to fall. And I just think it plays better with five. I really enjoy the game. You can also kind of pick your poison as far as timeline is concerned. They've got timeline, uh, British history, American poison. history, uh, Star Very Wars, cool. uh, you, you name it. There's just so many different flavors of timeline that are out there. You can just pretty much pick whatever you want to do so uh, that's my that's my number 10 timeline this one's interesting to me because i don't think i've ever played it with five yeah i don't think so either it's always been fewer i didn't even know fewer yeah I think really so. it's always, always been three fewer. or four for me maybe two but always three or four right. no i played a couple games of uh british history when we were over there in um for ukge one year and one game had I want to say seven, seven people, and then another, I don't know another if game like had five. Uh, By the time it comes back around to me, I'm like, I don't know. Just no, but throw the no, card that's in the, the thing, though. By the time that's where it goes. By the time it comes back to you, you could have a better idea. If you're smart. No, you can you can use the pictures. The pictures are all done in different. Well, at least with British history, that's the most recent one I've played. You can actually use the pictures, and they're uh, time period specific. You know, so you cheat. No, you don't cheat. <laughs> you I use <laughs> all things at your disposal to succeed. Like your phone. No. That would be cheating. Okay. I understand. Timeline. My number 10. Number 9. My number 9 is Airlines Europe. That's the one that I'm assuming is out of order because it's not that light. Did you have to check your phone real quick? No, someone open, came, yeah, someone came to the uh, home, like, gate. Um, <laughs> anyway, number nine, um, Airlines Europe is a kind of a small stock market game where you're building right. routes and collecting cards. That sort of game <clears throat> isn't normally something I want to play at 
five usually. But this one works really well because there's so many different companies and there's a lot more competition back and forth. Although I think you might okay. use more companies with five players. It doesn't matter. The game is one of those ones I believe I didn't go look on my, we did that top 10 of games that scale well. Right. I'm pretty sure this was one of them. Okay. But I really like it with five. We're like, oh, we have five people. Yeah, this is a good one, and it feels like a meatier, more involved game. So my number nine, Airlines Europe. Cool. Hmm. All right, my number nine is another party game. This is called Don't Mess With Cthulhu. Don't Mess With Cthulhu. You have, I shan't. You have uh, some folks out there who are traitors among all of you, and then you are trying to find some cards, if you're the good guys, while avoiding one mainly really bad card that if it ends up in someone's pool and they are a cultist they'll try to get you to be like oh no my board is clear come on in water's fine gotcha i think you it are works. definitely mixing metaphors there but all right the wa yeah it's it's good um three strikes you're out and uh you know goal i like it at five because um again i just think the social interaction at five works really well um, you have enough people who you are trying to decide if they're on the good team, the bad team. The cards are going to be moving around to enough people, you know, because after one round you shuffle them up again and, and divvy them out anyway. It works well at five. It's a good four. It's good at four also, but I really like it at five. It's going to give you, it's going to excel at what it does well, which is that game happening up here, you know, with between people not necessarily what's going on on the table. So that is my number nine, don't mess with Cthulhu. It's a bad idea. As a quick side note here, I feel fantastic. My voice is gone, but I feel great. I'm not here. Anyway. You're not here? People like Tom should go home, he's sick. Hashtag things that patient zero says. <laughs> I'm feeling much better. <laughs> no, you don't. I'd like to go for a walk. Oh. Shut up, you'll be dead soon. Are we going to be in like a plastic tent 72 hours yes, from now? Yes, we are. Oh boy. We are. CDC will be outside. Which Don't should... do it. Don't do it. It's your number nine. Anyway. I know it's my number nine. It's my a, number nine. Please be pandemic. <laughs> no, it's not pandemic. It is Spyfall, either 2.0 or DC version. Uh, either one will will do the trick. Um, okay. Uh, I like Ooh, DC five. version specifically because of its uh, special abilities that you may or may not have. You could be a bystander. You could have special power as you go around. But uh, four, I find that it's just not mm -hmm. enough people to ask questions around the table five is where it really starts to pick up and of course having a having a few more if you get too many uh people then there you could have a a, a spy that just kind of slips through the cracks but with five it's it's just tight enough to where it it starts to uh open up a little bit as far as how many people you have to ask questions to and it's also tight for the spy the spy has to really be on his toes with just five players um, so i really do enjoy this game it is one of the easiest ones that it is to teach because you simply uh, have to ask questions but it's also one of the harder games to understand exactly how to play your first time playing it after you get one play under your belt, you're like, oh, okay, now I understand what's going on. And then it, it kind of takes off from there. But I really enjoy Spyfall with five players. Um, uh, the I've played it with four, and I just didn't enjoy it uh, because it was there just wasn't enough people around the table. The more, the merrier, but five is where it really starts to take off. So that's my number nine, Spyfall, either 2.0 or DC. That's a good choice. I do like it right. at five. I, think I like I prefer, it more a little bit better. I prefer it at six. <clears throat> Because it's going to give you a chance for the uh, spy to not get asked before they've heard, it, hopefully, a couple of things at least. I still no. think it's funny when the spy gets the first you question. Have the, you always have the choice. Yeah, that, that, that's always a chance that the spy will get asked the question first. Oh, well, of course, but that or chance, be the person that chance goes so you're down saying that 15 the more people table. That 15% difference matters. Ooh, he, yeah. just, he just hit you upside the head with some, yeah. with, with some that's math. That's what I'm saying. It's a little... With some statistics. Especially with newer players. Yeah, they want to. I want to. Well, then by that logic, seven's better than eight, than nine. I said I prefer it with six than five. But it goes mm -hmm. up to eight. So maybe I prefer it with seven than six. I never talked about that. You'll cut the attention. Huh? We knife. can both play this game. Croaky. 
That's true. All three of us. <laughs> I'm didn't. sorry. I went there. Croaky. Oh, oh, I tried, Tom. I'm Froggy sorry. Froggy would be. You pushed my buttons, man. That's what happens. Froggy you put me better. in a corner. I'm gonna scratch you. <laughs> All right, number eight for me is has the most pieces, and I would never play the first game in this series with five ever. Hold up. Ticket to Ride. No. That's actually not on my list at all. My number eight <clears throat> is Caverna. See, Agricola, I wouldn't play with five. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. But Caverna okay. is a really good. Now, Caverna goes up to seven, and I did once play with seven, and it wasn't as horrific as I thought it would be. <clears throat> right. While most of Uve's games I like with two, like Le Havre is two or three, and I'll even, Caverna is also great with two or three. Right. Um, Agricola is probably best with four, Feast for Odin, two or three, but Caverna, five. Works really well. I really what like about it. about Fields of Arl? Zero. Ooh. I believe he just said something. He softballed me. He knew I didn't like that game. You don't like that one? I thought you liked that one. No. Oh, I don't know. It's the same game. I figured you'd like it. <laughs> no, wait. Fields are... Wait, I'm mixing up now. Exactly. My point. No, Fields... <laughs> <laughs> Fields are uh -uh. the only two players. Correct. Yes. Sorry. So, two. Anyway. I, um, I, uh, Caverna. You need to stop messing with him. He's got. No, I'm sorry. He's, he's got to, drugs. He's, he's trying got, to like keep up with me being an idiot yeah, and uh, yeah. you know you Dayquil. You gotta stop that. I'm fine. That's All not right, nice. anyhow. I'm fine. Um, anyway, uh, I like Caverna because there's so many better. different options, and with five players, <laughs> they definitely change the options so that you can go for all of them. It's a great game with five players. Caverna. <laughs> go ahead. I like Caverna actually out of all his games, probably the best of the big, of the big ones. You know, the larger games. All right, my number eight is King Stupid. of Tokyo. <laughs> it is, no, it's great. Um, I think at five, what I like about five is that there's a very crucial thing in King of Tokyo, and that is staying in Tokyo when it comes back around to you. Boop, you get a little injection of victory points. I think at four, you can hold out. At five, that starts to become an issue, you yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> you can lose pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, so you really need to be... You might be able to hold out, right? That's the thing. That's what I like at five. You could see what's happening, you know, with the first two players, three, say to yourself, I'm staying in. I want that, those, you know, two points or whatever it is. But you have, that, that there definitely is the chance that you will get wiped out at five. And then more than that, I think it plays up to six. You just, it never, especially, it almost never happens. You yeah, have to bail. Especially if you've, if you've Ticks somebody off off at the table. Right, they're gonna try to target it's like you. Yeah. Combat, 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 and you're like, uh. Yeah, you can't take that punishment, but I like it at five for that very reason. It's my favorite number to play, uh, King of Tokyo. So there you go. That's my number eight. I put King of Tokyo on my list at the beginning, and I was like, nah, six is good. But your your reasoning has persuaded me. You like it? I would I wouldn't say that. It was on my <coughs> it was on my short list, um, for this this as well. But rude. I still don't. I don't know. The number of players for King of Tokyo is is a side issue for me, I guess. I like it at all the different player counts. Um, five doesn't two? stand out. Well, no. But come on. You just said all the player counts. Thank you. Objection. Backtracking. That's not a legal term. <laughs> My number eight is Celestia. Celestia is a, is a reprint of Cloud9. A much better reprint because the artwork is better. The components like are better. just said this. Yeah, we did talk about it earlier. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was for, but uh, Celestia is, a, is... I just played a five-player game of it on the cruise uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, it started off as a four-player game. Uh, but at the last minute, a guy uh, a guy was watching us explain the rules, and he was like, "Hey, can I step in?" Because he didn't do anything. We added in a fifth player, and it worked great. Uh, so okay. it's um, uh, I like it. I like the game better with uh, its second expansion a little, or rather, its first expansion a little help. Haven't tried the the most recent expansion; just came out for it. But um, I think it's one of those games where it really sings with the expansion. But five players is is also very good too. So that's uh, my number eight, Celestia. Cool. Yep. Number seven. My number seven is the newest game on my list. 
just came out. Does not have an English version yet, but I would imagine that it will because the love that people give it to whoever, whoever plays it, I have yet to meet someone who dislikes it, and that is Smartphone. Oh, smartphone wow. is just, <clears throat> Smartphone's a really good game with different player counts, but with five, the whole board is open. It's one of those games where parts of the board get shut down if okay. you're playing with less than five. Wow, this game. And it, it's simultaneous, all the different things, except for selling at the end, um, the phones, and at the end, that interaction where I want to sell in this market before you do, gets really tense and cutthroat. It is a really good Euro game. Uh, this one is one, of, the more I play smartphone, the more I like it. Like, I could see it eventually edging up into my top ten of last year. Really? Yeah, I think, not yet, but it's, 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 it's growing on me. And a really nice new English version could really blow the doors off. I'm very much impressed with this one. Long smartphone. As, as long as I don't mess with the look, because it already looks great. I like the look, although I wouldn't be upset if they got rid of those sharp cornered plastic pieces. Oh, I guess I don't recall those. I haven't actually played the game, but yeah, it looks they're, good. They're like little buildings, but they're like sharp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Not that I'm stepping on them, but... If you ever do, you'll lose your voice again. <coughs> <laughs> ah! Wow, I was... That was, the vocal that was like a, a peaceful exchange there. That was like a stab for no reason. It was. I stabbed you? No, I said you will lose your voice again because you'll scream because it'll hurt. Let me explain it to you again. You'll be walking, right? Pieces on the floor. You get it. <laughs> My number uh, seven is a racing game called Downforce. Downforce, um, much like many of these racing games, you're going to want that interaction between the players. In this one, you own the cars as well, and so you want to spread that out. You know, I don't necessarily want to play with six. That's going to lead to a little bit too much downtime, in my opinion. But... Um, Actually, I'm not 100% sure if you can play with six. I think so. But at five, you're spreading out the cars. You'll own, you know, one yes, or two. Yes, you can play with six. You can play with six. Can you know, you'll, stay be, on the box? you'll be owning one or two. Um, so you'll have an investment in those things, but you're spreading it out. And so I can just be like, oh, you're really doing well. I can bid on your car, but I've got some I want to try to make win. My turn will come around just a little bit faster. It's just a great game. This is a fantastic Reimplementation of the original game. Uh, just love it. My number seven, Downforce. Yeah, this was another one that was on my list, but I almost always, this is my one of my go-to games for six. Oh, really? Okay. So if I have five, I'm thinking, what else can I play? Because if I'm six, I'm, my choices are limited, Sure. and this is one of them. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> my number seven is a uh, social deduction game called Patriots and Redcoats. Patriots and Redcoats. Like this is your new it on is, every man. list game. I like, uh, I, well, I really. Bang the dice game is gone. Yeah, long this is like Patriots the second. And Redcoats. No, this is the second time I've I've yes. included this on a list. No. So shut up. <clears throat> it's coming up. Anyway. Is he telling me to shut up? I feel like it was. Uh, telling both of you to shut up, yo. Does he even say anything? Duh, duh. Anyway, Patriots and Redcoats, I thought about putting Deception, Murder, in Hong Kong on this list because with five, you do have enough uh, to have a good smattering of roles that are in there, the, the extraneous roles uh, that really kind of bring the theme of the game out. But with Deception, Murder, in Hong Kong, I want more players. And so I usually reserve that one until I've got seven or eight players at least. Uh, to to play Deception Murder in Hong Kong. But mm -hmm. with Patriots and Redcoats, it hits that middle ground in there with, with five or six. Uh, it really does work well. Um, but it still gives me all of the tension that the game uh, has to offer is, uh, with it. So uh, Patriots and Redcoats is my five to six player. And since this list is only for five players, there you have it. Uh, Patriots and Redcoats, great social deduction game, really fun. Enjoy the theme a lot as well. So that's my number seven. That's yeah. funny because I thought you were going to put Deception on your list and I was getting all ready to be like, definitely better with seven and eight. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. The I more the merrier. I considered uh, the resistance. I did, did not make the list, but it was a similar idea where I think at five, six is great too, mm -hmm. but at five, you've got plenty of that like, mm, I don't know who to send, I don't know who to trust. <laughs> yeah, works exactly. well. Number six. All right, my number six game is a game I I think is best with five, actually. it's I really like this one. And that is Catacombs. And that's because it's one versus four. So okay. this works well with five. 
you could play with one verse three, but then one person has two characters. That's always a little messy. Like, oh, we're all playing, but Sam's playing a little bit more than the rest of us because he has right. two characters. Correct. Yeah. So I like it with five, and it just works really well because the Overlord gets to shoot things. Everyone's working together. It's a deck. It's a flicking game where you're all shooting at each other in discs. I'm, the new version of it's really nice. It's gonna have the um, uh, mouse pad mats. Basically, that uh, you play down. Do the pieces slide well on that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I tested it. It works really well. Um, and I just like that whole aspect of the dungeon crawl, but it's a fast, silly one, flicking. Right. There's strategy to it. If you've never played Catacombs, I really like this game a lot. And with five, I think it shines. Four different players against one dungeon master. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And the dungeon master can pretty much try as hard as he can, in a sense. He doesn't have to hold back. Because it's it's basically coming out of the skill of the, of the flicking dexterity, yeah. yeah. So catacombs. All right, my number <laughs> six is Dice Town. Uh, Dice Town at five is fantastic. It's going to give you a good mix of winning something out there of the different choices versus going to Doctor Bad Luck. Right? If you are playing with fewer than five. It will get visited. Dr. Bad Luck, you get that when you win nothing else. Almost never. There are simply too many play, too many areas, too many races True. to spread among four people. <coughs> if you go to six, it's going to happen every turn almost. Because, again, someone gets shut out. Not if you're playing with the expansion. With the two options? And the two options. Sure, but sure. You don't but like I don't, that, right? I don't that's my least favorite expansion, actually, the first one. If you play with five, then it's happening every now and then and I think that's the best way for those actions to trigger every now and then because they're pretty powerful and they could mess with the game a little bit you know stealing uh, gold pips from people stealing money uh, locking locations down things like that so I really like the game at five you know it just um, it's my favorite way to play so Dice Town my number six pick with five players. I approve of your choice. I remember going to I remember playing that game and, and often Specifically, trying to go to back dock back up because yeah, I sure. because I want to so protect good. my my uh, my territories mm -hmm. or I want to steal some of that gold. Mm -hmm. Well, so, you're not quite sure now because the new way with the cards. Well, okay. Yeah, but it is face up though, so you could still. I have never played a game and wanted to go to bad luck though. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. if you've got like a, couple, got a couple of juicy of... Uh, lands, like a yeah. five pointer. Absolutely. Oh, if you're playing well. Yes. And never mind it. Right. Well, now you've got the expansion with the cows. That'll I don't help think you. I've played that one. That'll help you lock down yeah. those lands and not not cows have them are good. stolen. That's you would good. like it. Cows do taste good. You're right. Mm. Not okay. Over butter. Not All okay. right. My number six is another Western game, and these guys were just saying that I always include these on my list. So hey, why not stay true to form? Bang the dice game. Bang the dice game mm. is mm. definitely. <laughs> That's a stupid troll. He just he just showed it to you. I know. <laughs> uh, Bang the dice game is uh, a very cool at five. Um, I like it. I won't say. I won't say best at five. Uh, again, this is another one of those games where I think uh, the more you have, the better. And on top of that, if you're using the expansion, which has the ghost ability in it. Uh, that's even better because the first person to get eliminated isn't actually eliminated. He just becomes the ghost and can okay. keep helping either his, uh, you know, whatever side he was on uh, to begin with. Uh, but with five players, I believe that you've got two outlaws, the sheriff, uh, a deputy, and the renegade. So it, it's kind of even teams. Um, with six, you're going to have three outlaws. Uh, and if they work well together, they can really pretty much dominate the game with only two and then having the other two be the sheriff and uh, the deputy with the renegade by itself i think it evens things out a little bit better so that's why i like playing it with five but i also like playing it with more than that as well but i don't think i like going below five so that's uh my number six bang the dice game that'll be when we run out of top 10 list ideas top 10 games we won't play with less than five <laughs> the sequel to this list huh. But it's like Speed 2 Cruise Control kind of sequel. Just not as good. Well, like one of us will be dip replaced by a more boring actor? No. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, it's the, the sequel no one asked for. Kind of <laughs> top ten list. It's true. 
number five. All right, so now we're at the five for the five list, right? <coughs> number five of top so ten. So this one was actually the most important pick, is what you're saying? Nope, but mine will be the one that some people agree with and some people highly disagree with. Oh, here we go. I mean, they'll be like all the other ones on your list. Like no, everyone agrees with Seven Wonders. Come on now. Nope, I don't. Go ahead. I didn't. I didn't include it on my list. Yeah, but that's only because you only get ten picks. That's true. It would have been your seventeen. This one wouldn't have made your list at all. That's Puerto Rico. <laughs> Look, I love Puerto Rico. Right. But I think I like it best with five. That's been saying. Top ten but games. But some people really disagree on this. Oh gosh, pendulum. that's mm. that would make my. You top don't like with five? Spin. I don't. I barely remember the games. <laughs> I just, so, I'm just playing the part. No, but Go with ahead. five players, each person is picking a role, and it goes around. Oh. I forgot how boring that game looks. Hey well, man, this is the bo more boring version. I have a nice version. Oh, you have the fancy anniversary. I have the fancy anniversary edition. All right. But anyway, uh, with five players, if all the players are good, because mm -hmm. one player can mess things up to some degree in Puerto Rico, but man, it just plays so smoothly. Someone picks a role. We're all involved. I'm watching all five players. It's really intriguing to see what people are going to do. There's a lot of fighting for the buildings. I like it with a lot of counts, but five just, Puerto Rico works. It's one of those Euro games that transcends that don't play with five. The people that disagree with you, what's their play? What are they saying? What are the, that's better with four? Well, yeah, because some people some people don't like it with the five because parts of it could become script if you're all really good. Like if you pick that, you better pick this next. Got it. Okay. I'm not as good at that, but I really I like it. The only way that I would ever play Puerto Rico again is so that <clears> I could be that guy at the table that just screws the game up. I think that would be That's fun. That's why you're not invited. <laughs> I like, think that would be fun. It's like an, just to sit down a bunch anarchy. of bunch of <laughs> just, Puerto Rico you know, grognards man, and just like be, you know, the anarchy guy. Okay, but I've been in this situation <laughs> where I people just lose it. I play Every games, single move I I play a few games like at the <laughs> gathering a couple of years ago I sat down and played with both of the Maddens and Bob in a Euro game. John and Madden? I, and, and with uh, Jason, like a five-player game. <laughs> and after a while, I was like, huh, I'm about to be lapped by everyone. <laughs> Not fun. Did you lose? Mm -hmm. See, I knew I knew. That's that what was, that means. I what knew. about Bob? What about Bob? Really? That's pretty bad. That's, that's a... What? What is it with sitting in that seat? I don't know. This is the bad I crack jokes. the puns oh and bad jokes whenever I'm sitting there, too. Anyway, my number five, Puerto Rico. What's yours? Uh, my number five is on this list here. Let me find it. Uh, there it is. My number five is a cooperative game called Subterra. Mm -hmm. Oh, I knew this one's on your list because I like saw this? you uh, looking at the box for some reason. Probably came by my desk and you, it was on the screen. Um, you don't like this game? I thought we played this and you liked it. I forget. Well... I know I, like I played this the very, fir very first time I played it. You might have been in that game. I was like, something's wrong here. No, this we, doesn't we seem did, correct. We, we played two games right in a row because okay. the first time we played it, um, we got something wrong. And then the second time we played it, I was expecting it to be better, and it wasn't. And I didn't, I didn't like the ending. Oh, the ending's fantastic, oh, actually. Oh, I hate the ending. Yeah, actually. Your description the of the first ending did not make me like it. What did I say? I don't know. Well, it was like a few times where I've done my games with exciting endings. And yeah. Like, oh, out. right, right. Yeah. Everyone um, can die? Yes, absolutely. You're in a cavern. Your flashlights are running on batteries. At some point, you need to you need to find the last tile, which is an exit from a stack of tiles. It's the bottom one or like one of the last five. Once you hit it, everyone has to make it out. And you win. But there's a deck of cards that as the deck gets to the very last card, the game isn't automatically over. You roll a die, and your flashlight might die. And I've seen some nail-biter endings where I need, like, three more rolls to get out. It's so like you roll one time, made it, and the monsters that are moving around the caverns are getting a little bit closer, and you're inching towards the end, made it again, and you die. Or you made it out. I like the ending a lot. Um, and it really works well at five. You've got five distinct characters, everybody with a special power, and the thing that's great at five is... If anybody falls unconscious, you know, you, you have a little, tiny little health track. If you drop, you're not dead, but someone else has to go and revive you. And you are able to break up the party at five. 
If you're playing with fewer, I need to backtrack all the way to where you are, you staying down here. I'm sorry, I'm not going back for you. So, I really like it at five. Subterra. Cooperate or die. Probably die anyway. <clears throat> Thanks, troll man. Dice Tower Judgment. Boring. All right. Anyway, uh, my number five uh, is a uh, game called Spectre Ops. Oh, we're talking about boring. <laughs> <right>? Spectre <laughs> Ops. <laughs> You're like tossing this one because he hates this game. I know he does. Um, you like this anyway. one five? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. each, each player has their own role at that point. Um, I like that. Uh, uh, there are uh, four... Uh, hunters, one special agent, um, super duper. I, like I actually don't think I'll play this with five again. I like it with three. Me neither, yeah. Why? Shut up. Shut up. You don't play it anymore, <laughs> no, period. No one's I won't play it with five. That is not an incorrect statement, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> no, I like it with three because you each have two characters. Nah, see, that's that's too much collusion. This is exactly the Way opposite of what collusion. you said before about the previous pick there. I what agree, was... but in this case, it works better in this game, I thought. That's too much collusion. That's way too much collusion. Can't have that. People, you know, running I mean, into you got, colluding. I mean, you got two people controlling two people, two two different hunters. Um, that makes it. Uh, it definitely makes it harder for the person who's hiding. Nigh impossible. Well, not if you're good. No, I've no. always been caught. Uh, uh No, you have a constrained <laughs> space. On and, and furthermore, they know where the different stops what's with are. The, what's with the big words? Slow down. Furthermore, nigh impossible. <laughs> This cat anyway. just busted out a dictionary in between uh, the last number and this one. <laughs> no, mm. with, with Spectre Ops, I like where each of the different hunters is played by a different person. Yes, you still ha have to talk to mm. each other, and yes, you can still collude. But mm. with with two people playing two pr people each, nah, that's just too much. So like with they're five communicating, i.e., communicating too well, is what you're saying. Well, it's inside their head. That's they what can I mean. Coordinate too well. So you like that if you break it up, it's those more, people might not work as well. more realistic. That, that's true. That's no, true. I get that. I'm just saying that with five, then I feel like I'm, I'm not, I don't play as often. Sure, well, right. Well, of course, the game will go a little bit longer, but not necessarily so because take a smaller no, I'm part not, of not the game. the hunters have a time, time, time limit. It's not that I'm just saying that I get... For, for I'm only playing one-fourth of the one side. What's that, what's that in the percentage, oh, no though? No Give no me way. that percentage. No way. Uh-uh. The, the, the person who's hiding... He is involved at every single no, step. No, no, not that I'm saying. Hunters are, are involved. me are both all playing involved. two characters. I get to move this character, and I get to move this character. I got to do something. If I only get to move one character, I feel like I'm not playing as much. That's You're all. a closet alpha gamer. What was the... No, well, that's not how that works. I'm just saying I want to play more. Yeah, but you are. Not that I want to tell him what to do on his turn. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I, 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 that was a tongue-in-cheek. Um, what I'm saying is, is that with if everybody's playing their own hunter, you must, you must work together with other people, and there's no, still no, no, the no, opportunity. I, I get that. I don't dislike. You <laughs> right? I know. But if you want to have a chance of winning, yeah. I don't dislike the five player. I just think I'd rather play with. Three. Uh, what was the game you had on your best. list that you said was four yeah. versus one? Catacombs. That's a lot faster. It's flick, done, flick, done, go, go, go. But you still are playing, you know, if you doubled up and you had two characters. I know, it's hypocritical. Be... Shut up. Y'all need to stop using these words. My Allow me to hypocriticize. Five Spectre Ops. Best with five. All right. Number four. My number four was one of the first ones I put on the list. And in fact, I don't know that I've ever played this game. Or I, I'm sure I have, but it's been a long time since I played this game with less than five, and I almost never played with six because you need the expansion, and that's Sheriff of Nottingham. That is a five-player game, man. Mm. I think I played it with four before, but it works so well at five. Sure, it does. You're checking four people's bags, go around the table two times. That's how it works. It's a great length. Five players, you check four people's bags. You know what? Well, it's you. I didn't Let me let's let's go over this several times in a row. Okay. It's you, and then there's three other people. Three? That would be only four people, That's though. four, you're right. So if it's five players, it's you, and then four other people. And so uh -huh. if you check each one, that would be four bags you're checking. You're right. Now, if one person has two bags, though, <gasps> you're playing more of the game. Eureka! Shut up. <laughs> anyway, I think that they did a good job at having the two deputies in the six-player expansion. Yeah, that but works. five-player is still the best for me. Mm -hmm. 
it's, it feels like a big game. It's robust. You're involved. You know, even when Sam's about to check Z's bag, I'm sitting there saying, check it. I'll give you money if you do it. You know, right. just works well. To the point, again, where I really cannot remember the last time I played is a lesson five. It's just yeah, one of those games no, where we yeah, have five yeah. people. I'm like, hey, Sheriff works. Well, if you're playing with four, did you have to go around three times also? Maybe. I don't remember. it. Again, it's been so long since I played it with yeah, four. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> so it's good with, with five, yeah. Yeah. All right, where am I at here? My number four was a game that I think, if I'm not mistaken, Tom, you said specifically you wouldn't put on your list. I might be wrong, but I think so. Cosmic Encounter. Yeah, I think you like list. it with more. I love it with six. I five is not awful. I'll play with five, but I six. like it with five the best. And I like it with five the best, I think, because uh, it's, it forces on even teams. Now, not necessarily. Someone could just abstain from participating. Dude, have you played this game and teams are always uneven? Not necessarily. Sure, just because there's equal players doesn't mean the teams are even. That's true, but there is a chance for that. Uh, a, you know, a bigger chance, anyway. I like it at five. I'm, I have an easier time keeping track of everybody and what they're up to and what they're doing and who they seem to have been helping. And when there is a combat... Um, then you could have you know two people versus one on whichever side you know and so you'll start it it helps me develop those alliances or backstabbing moments betrayals that sort of thing so i really do like it at five it's my favorite number at five um cosmic encounter my number four my number four is jamaica now uh jamaica is a pirate mm. racing game and uh five players seems to work really well. I don't necessarily like the expansion uh, as much as he does, but I don't dislike it as much as he does. Um, I'm right there in the middle somewhere. So uh, Let's you join can, forces. You can <laughs> the enemy of my enemy. <laughs> yeah, right. You can take you can you can take or leave the expansion uh, that uh, just came out, the most recent one. Um, the only one. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if there had no, been. No, there was that tiny little. There was, there was the promos promo or what have you, the promo extremely cards. Extremely rare promo. Yeah. But, Is this a um, max of six? I think it's a max of five. Well, there's six One, pictures. Two, there's six three, pirates in that four, picture. Five, six. There. Yeah, there's, it's okay, max then of six. six. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, with most games that have a higher player count, it doesn't, you know, it, it uh, the higher you go, the more it bogs down. Five is where I'm most. Uh, agreeable to having more players to it. Six just kind of pushes it over the top a little bit. Um, with five, it seems like there's a, a good mixture of uh, sailing and fighting. With six, it seems you, you can get caught in fighting too much. Yes. Um, so I was just playing this at the uh, retreat, and yes, I play with six, mm -hmm. and I think I prefer it with four actually. Really. You just get tired of all the fighting? It's too much. It's like, move. You jump to one because you do move twice on your turn. Jump, fight, back up because you lost, fight. And then for the second action, move up this many, fight. You could have like four fights in a single go for one person's go. Yeah. It's too much. I, I like with fewer. So Jamaica, my number four for five players. Cool. Number three. My number three is a big, heavy game uh, that I think works really well with three, with five, um, because I just like the more fighting in the game, the better, because there's only two fights per round per player possible, <clears throat> and that is Wallenstein. Oh, Wallenstein is a big, wow. giant map of a game, lots of people fighting all over the board, mm -hmm. and it, it's okay at smaller player counts, but with five, there's just that constant, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you fight everyone in this game. That's you know, you're going to be pick. all over the board fighting at different people. And there's just more interaction, more stuff going on. Uh, and because everyone picks their cards at the same time, five players does increase the length as you resolve the cards, but doesn't increase it too much, in my right. opinion. So This is a good pick. This game is I definitely... I would play well and sign with four, but I, I like it with five a lot. From what I can recall, it's been ages since I played it. Yeah, I think this is definitely best at five. I really enjoy this one. That's a good pick. Wow. Wasn't expecting to get support there. All right, my number three is uh, Risk Legacy. Risk Legacy is one wow, of those that's games really that's high. just... Hmm? Well, again, I organize them just by how heavy the games are. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, this is actually my 11. Um, <laughs> how did it get on the list? Wait, what? No. Uh, Risk Legacy is... 
Again, you're going to want the same five people, ideally. Just like most legacy games, you don't want a lot of jumping in and out of the games. But it's, uh, it's simply going to give you the most action, the most even development of factions, that sort of thing, when you're playing with the, the full complement. This plays up to five. It's the best way to play it, in my opinion. Um, I just really think that's the way to go with it, you know? Again, it's going to be a little bit harder to get those five people together every time you want to give it a go. Yeah. But I think the experience is going to be worth it. So, my number three pick, Risk Legacy. What do you guys think about that? I, would, uh, I wouldn't have expected this list this to show up on your list, period. Let alone. I played it with five, but I played it with four a lot, too. And I liked it at four, so... I played it I mean, with what I'm worried about at four is four the people. factions. Some of the factions don't get picked. And so after, like, say, two, three games in which a specific faction maybe got passed over, it's, it's dropped a little bit in sort of the, the leveling up. That's a... Like first legacy game problem, they didn't think about that. Like I think in a legacy game now, he would have been like, add a sticker to a faction no one's picked. Sure, there would have been something along that line, and that problem is exasperated actually as the game goes by. Sure, I know for right. unknown reasons. Um, but I get that. So yeah, so sure. So you agree with me? I you have won me over twice in one list. I'm I'm doing well mm. today. Mm -mm. Mm. Collision. Right, That's what it is. My number three is a simultaneous action selection game called Mission of course. Red Planet. Red Planet, second edition. Mission Red Planet, second edition. Um, five just really seems to work well. I think we did. We, we played a fire player game of this mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in at uh, West Texas Tabletop Con way back when, a couple years ago. And okay. it really... So, uh, I think it was five. It may have been six, but I'm pretty sure it was five. Uh, and we really enjoyed ourselves. We had a great time around the table. Oh, speak and for yourself. <coughs> you enjoyed it, too. Shut up. I think this works pretty well with six myself. But <coughs> Thank you. The whole time I'm sitting there thinking, I need one more player. <laughs> but sure. probably five is a little bit more manageable. No, it is. It's definitely manageable. It's one of the games where uh, you're, you're simply picking a role, carrying out that role. Uh, things are counted down. You have to take your turn when it's time. Uh, but the game itself winds down really quickly. Yes. Uh, the last couple of turns, it's like you start playing and then an indiscriminate amount of time later you are ready to finish the game and you're like but wait I'm not ready for the game to be over yet and that's usually how it goes and that's that's how I've always felt whenever I hit with uh, five players and I like it when games do that because it just makes the game you, you may have been playing for an hour and a half but it feels like you've been playing for 30 minutes uh, because you've been so involved so I, I really like it when games do that and with five players Mission Red Planet really does kind of do that so that's my number three Mission Red Planet oh, I agree with that five is probably the best yeah. good choice number two my number two is very similar to my number three my number three is Wallenstein my number two is the game that's kind of a precursor Shogun. to that no <laughs> although that's the first time I mentioned Wallenstein in a list ever or Sam didn't say Shogun at some point I was yeah, thinking man. it but you didn't say I it. I was thinking it. You're supposed to say it. He's being nice. He's sick. I'm trying uh, to. I'm not. I feel fine. <laughs> I feel I fine. It didn't come out too well there. I feel great, really. Anyway, my number two is El Grande. I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. El Grande is a game I think that scales well. I like it with three. I like it with four. But I really like it with five because in this game, you were constantly fighting over various spots on the board. With five, you were fighting for all of them. With fewer. Player counts, there could be some areas where I'm like, you know, forget that, I'm not going in there at all. But with five, I can be like, ooh, I'll drop in one cube, maybe I'll get third place. You know, and you I wish I had remembered this game more, because I feel like you're wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get that nagging feeling in the back of my brain, Juice, that is telling me that I should rebel. Say, no, 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 you're wrong. But there's also the five different cards Colonel. that you're picking. Well, this is a rebellion. And with five players, they all get picked, which I also like. Say that again? There's the five cards that you pick next to the board with five players, they all get picked. Okay, okay. I like that too. I don't know. I just feel like it's the most active, the most interactive. If you've never played this, this is like as basic area control as you can get. Well, this 
There's a bit going on, though, with the action cards and all that jazz. But the action cards, as I said, the action cards, though, is something I haven't really seen in another game copy. That's true. They took the good part of the game and they replicated that a lot, the actual area control part. You don't like the action card part? I don't remember. Again, it's been too long. But you're wrong, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Mama's right. All right, so El Grande, my number two. All right, my number two and my number one are actually... Um, Pandemic. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I like both at five for the same reason. And you guys actually each have had already a game on your list for that very reason. My number two is Fury of Dracula. And I like it because it's one versus many. Yep. And it is... Four hunters, At best, with dragon. four hunters, one evil lord of the dark. <laughs> I actually considered this. This was like one of the first that came to my mind because yeah, it's I mean, five. It just that it didn't make my top ten. Yeah. That's all. Was it your eleven? No. Fury well, of Dracula was on my eleven. Is his well. number one? Okay. Wow. I doubt that entirely. Oh, okay. Maybe it's his number, number two. Number two, then. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Anyway, Fear of Dracula, again, just for that reason, it really works well. Everybody is going to be working together. You're, you don't have to double up with characters and any of that stuff. Fantastic. Um, yeah, not a whole lot else to say about it. These guys kind of covered it when they talked about Catacombs and uh, Specter Ops. Fear of Dracula is a similar similar thing. This is the way it is with a lot of these games, though. Like, Descent, I don't want to play me versus one player. Right. I want there to be four people going through... It depends. It, sometimes I could see that being being all right, you know, but um, when all these people are bringing unique powers and they have to work together to, to knock something down, yeah, yeah. Unless it's Conan, in which case Conan's like, you guys can sit in the bench over there. I got this. I got it. Watch from a distance. There's popcorn to, in my nuts. I was talking to a guy the other night. Enjoy. He was talking about Conan. He's like, Conan's out there today. We're like throwing stones. <laughs> Look, I hit a monster. We made him mad. <laughs> Conan, get him! <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. I'm curious to think what what you think my number two or one is. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm wrong then. Be you should say when we get there if it isn't this number two. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure neither of these. All right, go ahead. Uh, my number two is a game called Kingsburg 2.0, second edition. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. This is a four for me. No, a four player, fine. I mean. Five players is great great for this one. Four or five, really. Um, but this is also good for good good for five as well. It's so crowded at five. It is, and that's part of the cool part about it. You have to know. Uh, you have to be very on your toes, intuitive. I'm trying to think five the last players. time I even played this with five. Yeah, I have. I've played it. Yeah, I like this at four, I've played too, it I with think. Yeah. I've, I've played it a lot with is four, there but no, I've also played it with five they, as well. I don't remember. Did they do anything to make it easier to put dice out with five? Can two people put their dice in the same spot? I don't recall. I don't think so. That's tough then. Wow. Do you have an extra die at four that they take away at five? No. So you never get up to the higher numbers then. How would you get to 16 with two dice? You cooperate with them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's been ages since I've played this. I never played the second one, actually. No, I don't think any any. I don't think any of the dice or anything like that are changed or or. So it's just you know, more crowded. Little, the board yeah, is just, just more crowded. crowded. Yeah, yeah more I think crowded. I like, I like it. Four. I like it. I like it. It's one of the things I like about the game is is uh, the fact that you do have to kind of plan ahead. Yeah. It makes choosing how many dice you put out and where you put what, what order you put them out in really matter. Sure. And it adds that uh, tension to it that is pretty much lacking if you go into the lower player counts. So uh, that's that's why I like Kingsburg with five players. My number two. All right. And finally, number one. Yeah. All right, my number one Z will disagree with because he just recently said he likes this game best with three. But I like it best with five. And that is... Rising Sun. Really? I like it with three. It's great with three. But with, I like five because I love... You want to talk about crowded. I love the odd man out that aspect of five. I like the odd man out crowded. at three, but it's not as crowded. And I have fewer people to whom to lose. Man. <laughs> five players. No, nah, I like it with oh, five. Man. I like the fighting back You don't get anything for fifth place. Like you know what I'm saying? Out. I want to pull that bronze, baby. <laughs> Hook it up with that bronze. Well, that's the case. You should play any of the games in his list. <laughs> if you want to get bronze, five-player games. Two-player games or else. <laughs> you know. I came in second. Second place. Uh, no, I really like the crowded board. This plays I... up to what? Six? Or five? 
Yeah, six, six but I've six. never That's played insanity. it with six. I have. You have? Yep. Was it crazy? Yep. And that's why I, I won't. Uh, four is my max. Four is your max. There you go. That's and how I, I feel about yeah. another game you Three, enjoy. Three, four, five. Yeah, but okay. It's not on my list. Huh? It's not on my list. Oh, I would have cried foul if you had put Blood Rage on your list oh, this time. No, no, absolutely not. All right. Four. But, yeah. Four is. But four you. Is, four is the sweet spot. Let me ask you this: Would you play this at five or Blood Rage at five? If you if you had the option to join a game. Blood, Blood Rage. Rage. <laughs> <laughs> if you had the option of a buffet <laughs> food. Wouldn't. Or Blood Rage at seven. <laughs> Blood, Blood Rage. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Blood Rage at seven. <laughs> I dislike this game a lot. I don't. I. I won't play Blood Rage at five. Actually, it's too many. Four is fine. Five is too many. Wow. Rising Sun. I like with five though. No, a see, lot. that's that's a thing. I don't. Rising Sun is more convoluted with five. I don't care. I like the. I like that there's two groups, two alliances, possibly. And then one person is, yeah, man, that, that person's just like, wow, car, baby. And they come in. Yeah. yeah. And then they get stomped. Not necessarily, because the other two factions are fighting each other. Mm. There was something, again, it's been a while since we played, uh, since I've played this at all, actually, especially with fewer. But there was something about playing at three that allowed you, that, that made sense to not be in an alliance. I think at five, if you're the odd one out, yeah, and, and it's going to hurt. In three, Because you this... get to pull one of those special, like, I get to do the awesome thing and wipe people off without a penalty. Yes. Fewer times. No, no, okay. At I three, get, I, get I, get, that. I'm, I could do that twice in a but single season. But it makes the season. negotiation aspect more interesting then. I'm like, you're like, oh, me and Sam are going together, but like, I'll give you money if you go with me. Well, now... I think at three, both being being part of an alliance and not... Could very well be both fantastic. That's what I like about it. Anyway, I like it at five. I knew you'd disagree. What's your number Man, one? Man, this upsets me. I'm upset. Collision. <laughs> all right, my number one, what do you think it is? It's a game that's, again, it's all versus one. It's best Pandemic of five. with the traitor. That's awful. That ain't making any list. <laughs> it's not awful, but it's just Actually, not. Actually, I thought Fury of Dracula would have been your number one. So that threw me off, because I know you like that one a lot, and that's a good Absolutely. one for us all. It's my number two, but there's another game which is very similar, and I, I do think it is works Is it another best. deduction style game? No. See, I still don't get how you like Fear of Dracula that much, but you don't like the one he put on his list, the... Um, Spectre Ops. Spectre Ops. I and, don't and get that. It's, it's the exact same game. Yeah, they're very close, but... Uh, Just one is easier to play. And it's know. shorter. Which I is, know, it's like, oh! I don't like the theme very right, much. Another, I don't clue. like the... Um, it's from the same company as the one you just mentioned. Simon? Come on. Are you kidding me? This. Oh, oh, okay. Come on. I know what it is, but go ahead. I'm lost. Come on. I'm stuck just, in my blood just rage. Think, just think of your vest as tentacles. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> the others? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the others. This is your new Sam put on every list category game of course man um it's in my top 10 now i think it was yeah it's the same thing again one versus all and, and i think that um what i like about it is like you said about the catacombs game both sides i feel if they if they know how to play well can go as strongly as they want at the others and it's gonna it's gonna work out there's luck of course with the dice rolling and all that but you can you don't have to hold back you don't have to dm as the bad guys and then when you're playing with four good guys, everybody's got a single character. That's going to work out well. And there are four in play. Now, if you're playing with four players and there are three good guys, nobody has to double up, which is something I like about this game. There actually only are three active characters and one more in reserve. But having four powers in play at once is going to feel, it's gonna sure, feel right. Sure. It's going to give uh, the baddies a, a run for their money. So, yeah, the others... Just really, really works well for me at the full count. Um, I just played this. I don't think I played at the full count, but I just played this at um, at the retreat as well and had a great time there. It was a nail biter at the end. <laughs> so yeah, the others is my number Vernon one. Vernon must not have been playing then. Mm -hmm. No, I don't play with that cat. He he tries to hoodwink you. <laughs> he doesn't tries. hoodwink anyone. He's more like in your face. Yes. I don't know. If there's any hoodwinking there. 
All right, uh, my number one is uh, probably not. Exp it, it actually kind of surprised me that I would include it on this on this uh, list. I don't know what it is because my first guess would have been Coliseum. I was thinking about that, yeah, but no, I didn't. That was my number eleven. Then, if it's not Coliseum, I'll guess Small World. No, I also didn't include it on my list because I, I prefer it with four. Yeah, that's the same for me. That's why I didn't make my list. Zombicide well, yeah. Black Plague. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So much for guessing. Yep. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to get it. Five. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing. Uh, I prefer of, it with six. Scenario, Everybody lot, gets one. Well, that's, again, if you only have five, I would play this because everybody gets one except for just one player. They get two? Yeah. You can't play with five? Very few most, scenarios. Most of the scenarios require six, uh, six or more uh, heroes. Huh. So with with five players, if you have five players, only one person has to do double duty. Everybody else gets their own character, and it, and it, and it moves along at a pretty good clip. Um, but if you go with less than that, you've got multiple players doing multiple people. Um, like, I mean, with, uh, I don't know, it just, mm -hmm. I've never played it with three. So I wouldn't know with everybody having two. I don't mind, let me say this, I don't mind people having two things, you know, two heroes to control. Uh, I just think it flows better and there's more table talk uh, and cooperation between players if everybody has their own. And five is the closest you can get to that. If you have six, hey, great, super duper. But uh, if you only have five, this still works really well. Um, and that's why I made my list. I really enjoy Zombicide Black Plague. It, uh, People have given me a lot of guff about not liking original Zombie Side and really enjoying this one, mm -hmm. just because of no, one or two differences. No, I got your back on that. That's this just one, because of one or two differences. This one feels much more interesting to me. But I, mean, uh, I like the, the theme original. a lot better too. I like the theme a lot better yeah. too. Wait, so Simon had all three top games? Uh, looks like it. Yeah. But Boy, that's, Rising you, Sun, that's yeah. because you guys ordered yours though by yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's yeah. why I have it. This might have been. It might have been my number one if I actually worried about. But again, it, it, that doesn't make any sense. That's why I did it this way. You know, my number one game for five players, it cannot be the others all the time, you know? Right. Because a lot of the time when I'm playing with five, it's with non-gamers. Maybe I need to pull out Wink and play something silly. Yeah. Well, real quick, if you guys are wondering why didn't we say a certain game, put those in the comments. I'll quick go through oh, them and we can say right. why we didn't pick those games right. or if we thought about them. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> um, one of the ones that people put as we were going through was Ticket to Ride. Oh, I hate it with five. I find Ticket to Ride with five is okay. I just like it with four better. Too Map is pretty crowded. The map is crowded before I put down trains. No. <laughs> yes, that's All true. right, someone here said fire and axe. Um, you know, I thought about this one. The reason I, I didn't put it on the list three. is because of that, uh, of that whole thing about people swooping in and and getting your last thing that you're trying to do. That's much more likely to happen with five than it is with four. Downtime's a killer with five. Yes, that is true. Sidereal so Confluence. Are long in that game. Someone said, I like that one more with six and seven, actually. Which one? Sidereo Confluence. Oh. Ra? It's been a while. Uh, Gosh, I don't remember. I think I liked Ra I with kinda four. I kind of like Ra with four, also. TI4, Sam. Uh, the board gets wonky. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not an even board. At, yeah, at and five. even even players is, what, is really where you should shoot for with uh, TI4. Um, either four or six. If it's your first game, definitely four. Um, if you've got some games under your belt, go ahead and go to six. Just skip five. Battlestar Galactica? Um, we actually played a six-player game of that during the cruise. No, seven. We had seven people in that. and You played a seven-player game? Of Battlestar I wish Galactica, I was there. Yeah. That's a lie. I can't even finish the <laughs> sentence. No, we, I, we, we had a great time. There was, we definitely found out that... There are some modules that we will never use again mm -hmm. <laughs> in some of the expansions, but because we didn't enjoy that, but we I enjoyed the the gameplay definitely. So, and which number is it that you have to do the whole Cylon sympathizer thing? I think it's five, isn't it? I guess so, but that's that's one of the cool parts of the game. You like that whole yeah. thing because it's like oh, it just felt like a way I to like balance it. I like it better it. without the Cylon I like it without that because it's more rules and it's also this whole idea of like okay, so you got this card. If you've lost this much, y'all ain't doing so hot. This one's okay with you. If you're doing all right, let me punish you a little bit by making this a Cylon. I, I thought that was wonky. It was like a real sort of bare-faced uh, really, way to balance it. Really thematic though. I, what theme? That game's you, you not about any, theme. Yeah, what about yeah, Dead of Winter? Uh, Dead of Winter, um, same thing with the whole down downtime thing. With, with uh, Dead of Winter, you have way too much downtime. It's really weird because with four, not so much. 
Uh, but with five players, your downtime increases greatly. Elder sign? Oh, gosh, no. I don't play that with more than three. <laughs> All right. Here's what I thought would be on your list is Libertalia. That's a good one. I thought about it, but then I thought that's that would probably be in my six-player <clears throat> list. Yeah. Libertalia is about the same for four, five, and six. Maybe that's why I didn't stand out at five, you know? I didn't think of it. Um, but it's fine. It's a good one. Ethnos? Ethnos works equally well for any number of found. Okay. Yeah. Someone said uh, Dinosaur Island? No. <laughs> Power Grid? Ooh. Power Grid would be in my top 20, probably. Sure. I like yeah. it with five. Uh, it, does it play six? I forget. I know that basically you need to start cutting sections off the map off of there if uh, you play with fewer. No, I think with five, you play with the whole board, I want to say. The whole thing? I don't remember. I think so. Or is it six, you play with the whole thing? I don't recall. No, I, I don't think with six, you cut off a section, even though you're playing with six, I think. Okay. Then five would be the best number, yeah. Teen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a good one. I may have missed that one. Um, that might have made the list. Mysterium? Hmm. Sure. Yeah. That's good. Gloomhaven? No. No way. Shadows over Camelot? I like playing that with a full six, seven if possible. Six or seven, yeah. Yeah. It works well with five, though. Kemet? I like Kemet with five. It's not bad. I think I'd rather play with it with fewer. four, maybe. I don't know. It scales really well. Firefly? Oh, my goodness, no. Adrenaline? Oh, my goodness, no. I don't like adrenaline, so I don't Fire, know. Firefly with four is a very long. With five, I unbearably long. It's I, as long as the season. <laughs> that came out for it. Uh, Shadows over... Oh, no, I already said Shadows. Scythe is one a lot of people ask. I actually like Scythe with four really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want that many. That fifth player... I know I played with five. It's okay. In fact, I've seen a game of seven, and I was like running the other way, but they finish at a reasonable time. I just kind of like... It's a pretty crowded board at that point. It is much more crowded. I just like it with four. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cash and Guns. Sure. 2.0 was on my short list. Just I would, didn't make the top 10. I'll play with six if I can. Adrenaline. We just talked about that one. Oh, we did. Sorry. <laughs> Pandemic. Just kidding. Pandemic did not play five before. Um, the original printing, I guess, was four. Now it plays five. It's fine. It's the same as four. Scales well. Nothing personal. <laughs> Doesn't even make my own list. Charterstone. We played Charterstone with four, and I felt I really about good this. with four. I thought about this, actually. Um, did I write it down? I thought I did. But I think it plays, if you're playing with five, there's still one of the districts that's empty. And so I want them all run by someone. So you want to play with six? Yeah, if I was going to pick, I'd be like, you know, everybody gets one. Because that, that whole artificial um, leveling up of certain areas on the board, I'll put up with it. You know, if we're playing four people, you got to do two of them. All right, sure. But if you've got five players, man, scrounge that last person up. You know, <laughs> just go for it, and then you can ignore that whole thing. Yeah. Life shower? That wow. is actually, uh, it's best at seven. I'll play with five, but it's really best at seven. Disgusting. Cold Express? Ooh. No. Yeah, I'm kind of over that game, I think, is why I didn't think of it. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, that's that, folks. We'll let you go off to your weekend now. We'll be back next week. More live stuff coming then. Hopefully, <clears throat> next week, I, I and my voice will both show up. You need to do some vocal rest over the weekend. Or I'll get on the horn with Eric Summer right now and make him tell you what's what. Have you heard his voice? Actually, probably listening to his voice would heal yours. That's you don't think that, so? That's not how that works. I think his vocal cords would be in the presence of those summer chords. Be like, oh, and they would just clear right up. If you're watching this and haven't seen, we're running a, a Kickstarter for Dice Tower right now. If you like our stuff, consider backing it um, for the year 2019. And for all those of you who have backed it, we really appreciate that. Thanks Absolutely. so much. Absolutely. Thank you, Very folks. So. And come back. We have a, we're adding a cool promo on Monday. You'll have to wait and see mm. then. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Thanks for hanging out. Sam Healy. See you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Bye.